Some uh, innovations were on display at the ASCO conference last week where thousands of doctors and investors uh, poured over the latest data for new cancer drugs. Joining us now, Michael Yee, uh, Jeffrey's senior uh, biotech analyst. Uh, Jeff, did you see mostly um, incremental progress on a lot of things that we've seen in, in recent years, or did you see any real quantum uh, advances? There's a big piece in the uh, journal today on, on what was used to be a death sentence, talking about different types of lung cancer and how much more manageable, not, not cured, but at least there's some hope. Yeah, well, it's a great question. Uh, I think you hit it spot on. This year is a bit more incremental. Um, some data sets from some of the large companies like AstraZeneca and Gilead and some smaller companies uh, as well. Uh, and I think every year there's progress. Of course, I think the key takeaway is immunotherapy uh, continues to be important and new types of antibody drug conjugates. Uh, but uh, the beat goes on in biotech. You know, the XBI has had a very nice bounce this year. Investors are definitely more engaged in biotech this year, and there's a lot going on overall in the space. Michael, did uh, the issue of, of AI come up, and is it, is, it, is it still the sort of the potential, or is, is anything actually in practice yet? That's an interesting one. Uh, you know, that's been a smaller topic here at the Cancer Conference, but what might be interesting for investors is, of course, Moderna and Merck, which are partnered on the uh, cancer right. vaccine in melanoma, which is presenting the three-year data. And Moderna says they might be seeking an accelerated filing uh, next year, uh, does use an AI algorithm approach to pick the specific antigens that actually go into each personalized vaccine. So early days, of course, there. Right. Um, I you mentioned immunotherapy. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, what the eventual answer is to, to, to I, don't, I wouldn't even just call it cancer because it's, I don't know how many diseases uh, it really is. What about, what about, di what about early diagnosis and, and uh, you know, looking at markers that can give you early detection? Because yeah. then, you know, if you get it yeah. early, you don't really need to cure it. You just sort of need yeah. to get it out. Yeah. Well, look, I think... Uh, you're, you're asking the right question, which is early diagnosis. There were, of course, you know, lots to talk about in terms of thinking about swabbing and other sorts of genetic things that are markers. You know, I think today, certainly in 2024, they're still talking about trying to slow the cancer or if you get technical more about adjuvant or you've taken out the tumors and you're trying to prevent it from coming back uh, for years. Obviously, that is where the Moderna Merck cancer vaccine plays. It's trying to prevent, for many years, the cancer from coming back or in adjuvant uh, settings of melanoma and lung cancer. So that's kind of where we're at. I think uh, investors today are still engaged in trying to get treatments for cancer. But, Joe, you're, you're talking about the right things in terms of early things. So early days, but plenty engaging in Wall Street or biotech. Again, take a look at the sector. It's been back. And if you would also remind you that Many pharmaceutical companies flush with cash have been buying these up, whether that's Lilly or Astra or Pfizer, which has some good breast cancer data called CAT6. That's pretty interesting, too. So pharma is buying a lot of biotech. Biotech stocks are back in the move today, and we've been optimistic about where the sector can go this year.